Hey there. So I decided I wanted to put in a swing set for the family to have a little bit of enjoying going back and forth on the swing. So earlier I went, I didn't videotape it, but I went and uh, picked up some uh, six by six post. Let me see if I can get it. And there's, there's the post over there. Went and got them this and morning. Then, uh, used the, the subcompact with the auger there, borrowed off of a friend and uh, started digging my holes. So this one, the auger went down about three feet, a little bit more than three feet, and I had to do the rest by hand, trying to get it down to at least four and a half feet. But then uh, I plan on putting some stone in the bottom and then put the six by six post in there, level it up and concrete it in. So uh, I'll show you when I get to the next yeah. step. There's Bubba out here with his Santa hat helping me. Say hi. Say hi, cowboy. <laughs> up there. I got the post in. Uh, unfortunately, while doing it, I just got busy and forgot to videotape any of that. So I'll tell you what I did. So, dug down four and a half feet deep. Uh, the bottom, I put about six inches of gravel on the bottom and uh, stabilized these, got them in there. So they're four feet down with uh, six bags of concrete each. So. And now I'm fixing to uh, cut them down a little bit. They're a little bit high, so I think I'm going to probably go with a, maybe 11 foot up. We're going to give that a try. Make sure that's not too high, but we're going to give it a try. Okay, so now I'm preparing my cross beam. Got my helper right there helping me. So my cross beam that's going to go across the top. The distance between the two posts were 114 inches. So I'm putting the chains 24 inches apart and basically then I put uh, 22 inches between the post and the first chain, 22 inches between the two swings and then 22. Um, you see the, <coughs> the bit here, my uh, half inch bit. I had to drill out a little bit. These are the brackets that we're going to use that the chains are hooked to. And uh, basically, just going to put, uh, here, let me show you. Uh, I got an 8 inch carriage bolt, uh, galvanized, half inch by 8. And go ahead and got these pre drilled. I'm not going to actually bolt them in though until I get, get the post up. All right, so I'm running the string across. I actually decided to go 10 feet. I thought 11 feet was just a little bit high for swing. And I'm running a string across with a string level so I can uh, make sure I cut these things. And when I put the post up, it'll set level. Okay, so the way that I got the, that the top beam up there, so I used the tractor to get it as high as I could. And then I uh, kind of clamped in a 2x4 here. I lifted one side up onto the 2x4. And then went and was able to lift the other side up. And then came back and did this side. So now I just need to go ahead and uh, equalize it. And put my plates up and put the bolts in. Uh, I wanted to show you some of the hardware that I'm using. These are Simpson Strong Tie T-Brackets um, using half inch by two and a half inch lag bolts. I'm pre-drilling pilot holes with a 5 16 inch drill bit. And uh, I highly recommend if you're going to be doing much of this kind of work to invest in a pair ratchet because I'm, I'm doing this all by hand with a hand ratchet and this has turned out to be uh, the most strenuous part of this project. Okay, the beam is up. 
There's the uh, T brackets with the lag bolts. And now we put the uh, swing hardware on. There is my finished product. The swing is set. I just need to clean up and it is done. So just remember a project isn't a project without some kind of problem and every problem has a solution just got to take your time and figure it out so to all you that want to attempt the DIY project good luck and have fun aren't you gonna say anything I'm having fun on my swing that you what He's gonna love it. <laughs> Who's gonna love it more, him or me? <laughs> Hard to say. <laughs> it's nice to be a kid again. <laughs>